having real instruments on real microphones played by real human beings really makes a big difference. I started off as a musician. That's where I come from. I'm ready to rolly rolly. And then I grew into being a producer. We're just cracking the surface. Human flaws are more beautiful than human perfection. An audio mirror is what a producer is. They show you what you really sound like. I love. Now we are on stage, ready to record. Um, it feels very nice in here because we have high ceilings and it has a bit of an ambient sound, but it's surprisingly dead uh, when we actually record. When you're standing here, especially if you're singing or even playing the drums, you can really imagine all the ghosts of people who have previously sat in these seats. And you can, you know, you can, you can perform for an audience that is either there or not there. Maybe there are people sitting here and time is just a human construct. My job as an instrument collector is to have all those things that you don't necessarily have in your arsenal. So there's a banjo here, there's a baritone horn, there's timpani, there's a bright bass. And that's what I've chosen to focus on is variety of instruments. And, uh, and that way, sort of everything, this is like a playground where everything's at your grasp. Just always wanted to capture sound in a recording because I grew up playing so much live music. And so I always felt like when I got on stage or played at church or wherever it was that I was playing, that just, you're, it goes away and it's not there anymore once you're done. And I was, I, I was always attracted to mm -hmm. recording and like preserving, if yeah. you have a cool idea and then you can record it and, and then now you have that idea and it's on tape. I get the endorphins from releasing material because that, it's like as soon as it's released then it's off of my plate, it's out of my brain. I don't have to ever think about it again. It's now belongs to the world and the world can decide what they want to do with it. Oh wow, we have a ton of different uh, noise. Uh, we might need to track that. <laughs> that sounds really good. When it comes to having a catalog of music that I've written or produced or arranged or orchestrated or recorded or helped someone see their vision through, and I want, I want a huge legacy of music left behind. And that's it.